A little while ago, we did a video about this. This is the X5 U4 transmitter, and it actually comes with this part, which is a belt clip, and then this part, which you plug into anything. It's XLR, but it also give you the jack adapter. So I plug that into my looper, and then I can hear it in headphones. Now in the video, I actually paired it with a cheap pair of in-ear monitors. They're about 15 pound on Amazon. They're okay, they sound all right, they're not great that they do the job. However, after X5 actually seen the review, they sent me out theirs, which is the T9. And you can actually get these two together as a bundle. The bundle actually comes with a traveling case to put all of them in, the U4 and the T9. So today we're going to check out the T9s, what they're like, what they sound like, and the ever so slight issue with them. So before we get going, the disclaimer, X5 did actually send me the T9 for the review, just like they did with the U4. They don't get a say in what's in this video. They're not guiding me to say anything specific. They're not paying for this video. And the thoughts are my own. Now, if you're a gigging musician with me who use loopers, then you don't want that loop from the speaker going into the microphone to cause audio bleed. This is why things like these are actually really, really useful. It also means you don't have to carry a monitor around, taking that to a gig. So in-ear monitoring systems is actually a great idea for loop artists. But for me, I don't want one of those big units. Of course, they do have a better frequency, and I understand that, but I'm never less than a meter, maybe two meters max, away from the loop pedal. So I just need something small to plug in so I can hear what's going on. So if the speaker's in front of me, I'm not getting the bounce back. Plus at the same time, I wanna be able to be present in the room with the audience. I've always actually been against in-ear monitors because of that very reason. But recently, I've actually realized they're a godsend. <laughs> yes, I know, I've been looping for over 15 years, I've been ganging for over 25 years, and I'm late to the party on this one. Hands up. Now, if you want to see the video about these, the actual U4 transmitter receiver, I'll leave a card just up now. And there'll be a link in the description box to go to that video as well. But today we're concentrating on the T9s. Remember, you can buy both of these together as a bundle. So this actually isn't an unboxing video, but what you get from this, let's just move these out of the way, is the actual little box. And you get a little nice little hard box in here. Uh, when you open it up. So we'll get rid of the box. And <laughs> I've actually already opened them So because I've been using them for a little while. So when you open up the box, you will actually see these. And you'll see these guys uh, at the front of the box. I've already had these on already. These are the memory foams, foam spongy uh, ones that you actually get. But you also get a couple of bags. You get, they're the, the foam spongy ones, and they're, they're there. And then you've also got this one, and this actually comes with the silicon ones in both a dark and a light color. The nice thing you also get as well, which I'm quite happy with, is you get a little brush tool because, you know, earwax. And you also get the smallest little jack adapter that I've seen ever, nice little low profile. So if you're not using something like the U4s, which is mini jack, and you're using something that's quarter inch, then you can plug that in and there you go. So these actually have a little indicator. It's nice and simple. So if I just do that, you can just see that little black indicator there. And this one says T9 left. And then the other one there is T9 right. Hopefully you can see that. So all you need to do is obviously find the different ends. We've got the left and the right here and then marry them up. And then obviously the way this works is it's meant to go around your ear like so. So if that's the case, then that is my left then it's gonna go that way. So I just need to plug these two prongs in. Doo, doo, doo. There we go, and then there it is, ready to go. So if we put this on, the nice thing is it is really comfortable. I've got really big ears, and I've got really, I need to use the larger ones, the larger actual inserts, and that works fine. So just to show you, this is the length. So there's the earbuds there, and then there we go. So this is 55 inches. And the nice thing we've got as well is it's got this tightener in the middle. So if I put these around the back and then all I need to do is if I was to turn around, there's a tightener on the back there and I can just obviously have that as loose or as tight as I need it to be. And then of course cable goes down the back and then we plug it into our U4 right here. Now of course it's totally up to you which ones of these you use, whether you use the clear ones or you use the foam ones. And then you can see the profile there. So I can actually block quite a lot of the world out, or if I want to actually have a slightly smaller size on, I could still obviously put these in my ears and let some of the world in. Now the frequency response of these is from 20 hertz to 16.5 kilohertz. And there's a dual Nolan's driver in each of these. So we've got one for the woofer and one as a tweeter. I'm gonna put up a screenshot of what X5 actually have as the frequency response 
for the T9s. As you can see here, you can actually get a frequency response 120 decibels at 20 hertz. So you can hear things like kick drums if you're using these as a drummer, or I can hear the thuds as I'm creating the loops. And then at around about three to 4K, it actually swoops up a little bit so you can actually hear things like vocals and higher ends. Now it does dip off before 20K, it's 16.5K, just so you're aware. And the impedance for these is 59 ohms. Now, when you're actually using these live, the great thing is, of course, this is a really small, a complete package so we can actually just plug that into there that is your entire thing and this part goes for hours on end which i've said in the other review and then this part i've just plugged into the looper and away you go now i've been using them for a week or two and the great thing is i don't have to use that big speaker while i'm practicing and just plug it into my looper that's behind me on the floor the question is of course how do they sound and they sound fine they are dual drivers but they actually are limited to 16.5 kilohertz so you're not going to hear things above 16.5 you're not going to hear 20k 22k or anything like that now the slight issue i have with them is the depth there's actually quite a bit of depth for this part right here now if you've got smaller ears if you've got low profile ears which i don't have so i don't have an issue with this but if you actually just turn this around you can actually see how thick that is it's pretty thick. There's quite a bit of space, actually, because they're clay, you can see the space that's been taken up. Now, whether that's because the drivers need that space, I actually don't know. Um, but I do actually think these are really thick. So depending on the shape of your ear, this will either be great or they're going to fall out. But these retail in at £159 in the UK. Or you can get the bundle, which actually comes with a bigger case, which is £319. So under £350, you'd end up with a complete package with a receiver, a transmitter, and some pro headphones. For most people, these will be absolutely fine. The only thing I would say, again, is obviously the size of your ear, the depth depending obviously where you want that to be. For playing, I actually prefer the memory phone tips. They're really, really nice. I'd like to thank X5 for sending these out to me and links are in the description box. If you wanna go and pick them up, you wanna pick the U4 up or the whole combo. Now, if you haven't seen the video for this, then obviously go and check it out. In fact, that video is right here.